transition into here and after you stopped playing? Man, it, I went for maybe four or five years not knowing what I wanted to do. And it was it was really rough. It was really rough. I, I didn't – because sitting around the house is just – that's not going to get it done, you know. Right. So I think – actually, I think I was – went into depression and uh, I didn't – yeah, I didn't know which, what, what to do. And the, the, the funny thing is the NBA is so great at helping players transition if you know what you want to do. That's right. Like, I tell people all the time, like, if you know when you're done, you want to be an architect, they'll get you internships with the best architectural firms in the country. That's right. Or you want to, whatever you want to do, they get you with, in the, with the best people. But my thing is, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I couldn't even take advantage of it. And then um, I, I met my, I mean, I, I've always liked real estate. So I ended up doing real estate. And I just, I met my partner actually on Facebook. Okay. And then me and her met and we just decided to become partners of a broker of a brokerage. And I've been doing that since I think twenty fourteen I started we started that. Okay. Yeah, but it was it was <clears throat> it was real difficult. Um it, even now, it, it, even now, honestly it gets difficult now because it's not a passion of mine. You know, I like real estate, but it's not a passion. And there's probably nothing I'm going to find ever that's going to be the same passion as basketball. That's right. And it, when it ends at such an early age, you know, respective to the rest of your life, it, it, it's hard for a lot of players. 